Molly, Dolly, Molly, Dolly, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Hey everyone! I was cleaning my room today and found my first stuffed animal that my grandma bought for me. It's a pink teddy bear. An old one, but something so special to me. In reminiscence of my childhood memories with it, I actually hand washed it and put the clean teddy bear on my bed. What kind of stuffed animals do you cherish? Is it an old teddy bear just like mine? In today's story, the teddy bear that I like comes out. To be specific, three of them come out and even as important characters in the story, as well as a girl with golden hair. Can anyone guess what story I brought with me today? It is called Goldilocks and the Three Bears, which is a 19th century British fairy tale. The story was first recorded in narrative form by a British writer named Robert Southey in 1837. It's an old story, right? Doesn't it make you wonder how the story continued to receive love from readers for a long time? Let's listen to the story to find out. A long, long time ago, there lived three bears in the forest. Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and Baby Bear. One day, Mama Bear made delicious porridge. She separated the porridge into three different bowls. The biggest bowl is for my husband. Mine would be the medium-sized bowl. And for our baby, I'll pour it in the smallest one. Breakfast is ready. Come and have some porridge. Wow, it smells so delicious. Mama, this porridge is too hot for me. Is it? Let it cool for a minute then. While it's cooling, let's go on a little walk. That's a great idea, Papa. So, the family left their breakfast and went out on a walk into the forest. Mom, Dad, the weather is so nice today. Truly. The air seems fresh from the recent rain, too. There are lots of pretty flowers blooming. There once was a little girl. Her name was Goldilocks. She had golden hair. And one day, Goldilocks was walking in the forest. La 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 la! So many pretty flowers! The fresh air of the forest always makes me happy. Oh, look! There is a cute bunny! Hey, little one! Let me come with you! Goldilocks ran after the bunny into the forest. She followed without knowing how far the bunny was going. After she realized she'd been running for quite a while, she was deep inside the forest. <sighs> Where did the bunny go? Wait, where am I? Did I come too far? I'm so thirsty after running so much. I need some water. Oh, there's a house nearby. I should go and ask for a glass of water. Is anyone there? May I get a glass of water, please? Is no one there? She knocked on the door. No one was answering, so Goldilocks tried opening the doorknob. Oh, the door is open. Mmm, something smells so delicious. Maybe I should go inside for a little bit. Goldilocks opened the door and stepped inside the house. Wow! There are three bowls of porridge on the table. One big, 
one medium size, and one small. There's a lot. I can probably eat some, right? Let me start with the biggest bowl since I'm so hungry. Ah, this porridge is too hot. Let me try another one. Oh, this porridge is too cold. What about the last one? Wow, this porridge is just right. This one is perfect for me. Hmm, this was delicious. I'm so full now. I kind of want to rest. My legs hurt a bit too. Hmm, would there be any place to sit down? Oh, perfect. There are three chairs over there for me. One is big, the other one medium, and the last one is small. This chair is too big. What about the next one? This chair is too big too. This one looks perfect for me. Wow, it's just right. Ouch! Maybe it was too small for me. The chair broke into pieces. What should I do? Goldilocks tries sitting in each of the three chairs. But oh no, she broke Baby Bear's chair. Ah. Oh. I'm a little tired after running around in the forest. I want to nap for a little bit before I leave. Hmm, where would the beds be? Maybe upstairs. So Goldilocks went upstairs. Ooh, many options for me. The biggest bed, medium sized bed, and the smallest bed. Should I first try lying down on the biggest bed? This bed is too hard. What about this one? This bed is too soft. What about the smallest bed? This bed is just right. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh. Goldilocks ended up falling asleep on Baby Bear's bed. But while Goldilocks was asleep, the Bear family that went out on a walk returned home. Oh no! What should we do with Goldilocks? The porridge is probably all cooled down. Let's hurry up and taste it. What? Someone's been eating my porridge! Huh? Someone's been eating my porridge too. Who would have eaten it? <laughs> my bowl is empty. Nothing's left. Does anything else seem different? Wait, someone's been sitting in my chair. My chair moved a bit. Someone's been sitting in my chair too. Someone's been sitting in my chair, and they've broken it all to pieces. <laughs> my chair. Let's hurry up and check the second floor, too. They decided to look around some more and went upstairs to the bedroom. Who would have walked all the way up to the second floor? Someone's been sleeping in my bed. My bed sheets are crumpled. Someone's been sleeping in my bed too. Ah! Someone's been sleeping in my bed and she's still here. Someone's, Someone's sleeping, sleeping on, on your, your bed? bed? Papa Bear and Mama Bear walked towards Baby Bear's bed. They were shocked to see a little girl sleeping in the bed. 
Who in the world is this girl? And what is she doing in our house? Why is she sleeping here? She ate all my porridge and even broke my chair. <sighs> Just then, Goldilocks woke up to the sound of baby bears crying, and the bear family was right in front of her eyes. Ah! Help! She ran down the stairs, opened the door, and ran away into the forest. And she never returned to the home of the three bears. And this is the end of today's story. Didn't today's story end so abruptly? Goldilocks ran away from the bear family without saying anything. I was expecting her to at least apologize. I can't imagine how dumbfounded and angry the bear family must have felt. It is definitely wrong to go into someone else's house or touch someone else's possession without permission. Just as much as such basic manners, it is also crucial to truly know how to apologize well. Now that I think about it, I also picked out some colored paper from my sister's room without permission. I should go apologize to her and return them. See you again next time. Until then, stay safe.